welcome back to Smith Coding and Design. I'm out here in front of my sile. I'm getting ready to go ahead and make a coolant manifold so I can hopefully get rid of this ugly coolant bar. I'm not a big fan of it. So what I have here is a custom Pearson pallet I've made. So this is the first time I've used the Mighty Bite products. So I have the knife edge pit bolt clamps on one side and then if we look over here I have the the talons so talons over here and then the knife edge here and then these ones for op 2 when I flip it over and do the other side these are the blunt edge pit bull clamps I've also purchased the tool setter mount from exact engineering so it's meant for a Renishaw Pro but it does work with the Sile Pioneer. So I'll show you that here. Sorry, I got a little bit of a cold so you might hear me sniffling. So that is a magnetic rem remote nest so you can move it around wherever. And then over here is actually where it goes. So I'm not gonna put it back there again because I'm getting ready to machine the part. So we'll just put that back. And then what I've done is over here, we grab this this is just a 3d printed cover so when I'm machining I can go ahead and cover the mount so that I don't get chips inside of it just something easy to do and then I have a larger one printing so that way when I put my tool setter over here while I'm machining apart it will actually cover the mount and the tool setter just to keep chips and flood coolant off the pioneer probe um, so that's about it. So what I'll do now is we'll just go ahead and machine this and then uh, you know we'll come back during the machining and then we'll see the final product. All right, so here we start out nice and slow. I am in MPG dry run mode, just making sure I can come kiss the material before I send it. That way when running a new program, I make sure I don't crash my machine. So here in a second, we'll let her rip. And so I'm using a Haas two inch shell mill, 100 inches per minute. We'll be going half the diameter of the tool for the width of cut, which is one inch, 50,000 depth of cut, and I am running at 5,000 RPM. And so that is it for the facing. We'll now get into the roughing. So for roughing, I'm using a half inch Haas mini indexable end mill. I love this end mill. I can run it at nice feed rate and get some good material removal. So I'm running at 120 inches per minute, a quarter inch width of cut, and 200 thou depth of the cut. And this is at 8,000 RPM. I can run this tool at 10,000 RPM if I want, and I can even increase the feed rate. No problem. That's just what I'm comfortable with. And so here's just some more roughing. And so what we're going to do next as we're going to transition into boring the holes for the coolant nozzles. For this, we're going to be using a YG1 Aluma Power end mill, 30 inches per minute at 8K RPM. Again, this is slow, just being conservative here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to transition into a 2D contour, and we're going to go ahead and finish up around the sidewalls of the part. Again, just using that same YG1 end mill. We are at 50 inches per minute. The stock I left on the sidewalls is 20 thousandths and the depth of the cut here is 875 thousandths. So that is it for the 2D contour. And so what we're going to do now is go ahead and thread mill. I'm using an online carbide thread mill threading the holes one fourth NPT. You'll hear here in a second it was not a good idea to turn the coolant off. I did that just to film. And as you can hear, it's pretty gritty. I'm recutting all the chips. So here in a second, I turn the coolant back on. And then we go ahead and proceed with threading all the NPT holes. And so now what we're going to do is just finish up with a fourth inch helical chamfer, 50 in inches per minute, 10,000 RPM, nothing special there. And so that's it for the machining. All right, here we are after op one is finished. As you can see, the part is beautiful. The mighty bite clamps held up no problem. 
The surface finishes look pretty nice. I'm using YG1 end mills for all the finishing. I'm using a half inch Haas index spool end mill to do all the roughing. The five holes here for the coolant nozzles are tapped one fourth NPT and I thread mill those. So here are the nozzles I got from Mari Tool. And as you can see, it's awkward here, but they, they slide in there beautifully. So I think it's gonna work perfect. So right now, you know, they are a blind hole, but when I, you know, finish op two, the holes will be through hole. So uh, that's it for now. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip the part over and put it in the op two portion of the fixture and then go ahead and run op two and see what it looks like after. Thank you.